I'm not afraid. My I'm happy to come to be visiting your home today also. And uh, I want to share a thought. The same number che sa onyan kupon ose mi akakra. I will see my kakra yibi di mo. And I have captioned today's message as Behold a thought. Fe, Mr. Sue say. And then I can count some of the so na yaka the rage of Massa. And my flow, now she may need me and I send me the Macuma soa. Number seven, no che. And so, and I'm the busy shadows. I'm a wanty. And then the media crank a crack. Na eko sima aji asa kusi di na enumno yafu unyaku pon asem niya adama kuma ponso uma yamampai ebadi ebe du se bakuwa mekasa chile asafu mekasa chile adofu i mesho se ebe mekasa ifami dumu na yemitro ba yekasa. A grandmother says, the same here. I will cost him a bean cost over more. I ain't to a net. You know it, she. I'm going to come over more. I'm going to send for me more and try. Oh, my, now. Oh, yes, Christo, dear more. Amen. I can't answer no. You will move free. The book of Second Kings, chapter five, verses eleven. Second Kings chapter five verse eleven, and that is where I want to read today's scripture. But Naaman was rough, and went away, and said, "Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me, and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God, and strike his hand over the place." And recover the labor. The name I can buffu you. No osoroko. No can say she. No me can say. Me susu say. Obi ban me chain. Na obi jam me chain abo bidin. Abo ni nyango pumudin. Na watrenesa. Abo piano so. Ama me kwata no ako. Very interesting story. This is that this story is about the Syrian army commander. Syrian ni Nema our oil commander. Ah, ye can answer me. I thought that ye 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 when we are talking about this very important subject. We, sometimes we don't take into consideration this revelation that I am about to reveal. This man, Naaman, was a commander of uh, the army of Syria. A mighty man, of course. So we, we may ask ourselves, was Naaman a leper when he joined the army. But I took time to look at the requirement, the physical requirement that one is needed before you can join the army. And I discovered, Mihun said, if you have any physical deformity, you cannot be in the army. You can't be in the army while thinking of your pains and your ailment. So it can be supposed, yes, the Bible did not give us the, 
epitome, the, the, the genesis of Naaman's uh, leprosy. But it can be deduced that perhaps because he was a, a soldier man or an army commander, he got the disease whilst he was serving in the army. When you are there, no, I bring now our army no, our army is today. Now, before all ran to that rank, no, or you be a, say the Bible no, at the Mayan, oh, um, I am from Oma, it is me, no, it is no, me too, but from Second Kings chapter five, verse one. Let's read that. Now Naaman, the captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable, because by him the law has given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in value, but he was a leper. And he, before he became a leper, because Obi and Nesajucha, Nenajucha, and in the modern days, are the Yamia Dom, the Yamia a Drew Area, Anka, um, Obe Sidden or Tetune Nemanema. But Nema, not Oye, able man without anybody's sickness when he joined the army. And he discharged his duties with diligence. The Bible says that. He had the series to win so many battles. Omudi um in him and he won the battles. That is Naaman. So he became the pleasure of the king. He became a honorable person. Because such a man our boy, I'm a Syria. I found a new name and to my pay for a pay in a idea. A bunny, I can focus and say, Who a padpa? No cranny a ha or henano a ha or henano. Now. Because this man, a man of violence, Onipa Owahodein, he had all the trick tactics to war. He knows them. He goes to war and come home victorious. Onipa Okokwa Oba Odinkundineba. He made Syria famous. And popular at that time. On my Syria, a e popular. On my Syria, whom who at the tour and crew be so that is Naaman. He made people to fear Syria. He also ensure that the captured nations pay their tributes to the Syrians, the Syrian king. Therefore, he amassed greater wealth. Sika dosu bebre eno de abo ma I look at Naaman and I ask ourselves, what are we doing as individuals to raise the image of our nation? We have been put in honorable positions as entrepreneurs. We have been kept in the honorable positions as managers, CEOs, as laborers. What legacy are we living? Is our survivors' heart with us when we are living? Or when we are afflicted with a woe, do they feel it with us? Or we think that 
we can do anything and get score free and go away. It is better you leave a better legacy. It is better. I just say, we gentlemen to a yet be cow, and that is what name and day. So, the king uh, treasured um, Naaman. I will say, Naaman, no, you need to be true. Only pa, what was Syria? A man Syria fell into my pipe. The Bible tells us, say, Abrebia is the former. A cock or Israel. Now, I'm going far. I'm going is a so And let me say that by this time, I can was me. Israel was under the jurisdictions of Syria reigns. Not Israel, Asia, Syria, and San Kwa. Nebra, I'm going to come. i my father, but we be say on the some war name and fear. On the some war name and fear. Oh ho! And now, about the one on catcher name and year say. Senka name and over Israel. Anka the quarter. My uncle pointed for do oh ha. Obitimi asano ikota. In fact, about five years ago, se se owo name owo Israel. When you meet the phobi, owo huwa. Obitimi de asano ikota. No, let me read it from verse three, Second Kings chapter five, verse three, and she said unto her. Mistress, would God, my would God, my Lord, were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he will recover him of his leprosy. Come in, Yaya, and Karimra, our Samaria, Israel, Nanka, Nikote, and Koko, Eko, Eko, and that was what this young. There to the mistress, and the minister also informed the husband because also every single kuno hotano. Obese because kwata area no a kumi a sai is a kumi kabo disease a sai. So be wa kwata ni in treaty ya treated. Untreated leprosy can spread to other persons. And then you know, so almost a mad or more done. I have come up, maybe Nikun Yesu Jenny, now he said, We see a dressy, not in Kuma Hura, Pomida Hura, the Bay and Honey Lafenta, Neman, now in the Mukrom, now for four dinner times, I look up for a cotton. Only looking to me now. I know Jesus. It is because Kotana yen in the Padina. And he Otis answered me. Oh, no, boy, look on my name. And I look on a couple Syria, Henry, my name. Say, dear, about one more Ottoman channel, Akane. Now, till there. Verse 5 from the essay. And the king of Syria said, Go to go. And I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed and took with him ten talents of silver and six thousand pieces of gold and ten charges of raiment. Nemantia Semno. Oh, I don't know what he named him. Papa, I don't know what he said. I don't know about it. 
Sele Yesu ni akpon don ba anu so Ewa Mark Luke chapter 2 verse 52 Yesu ni nyan sande kasi yemi ni nyanku pono ni panchen adom And for you ni papa bi ya wini adom You are favorite Ndi And let me tell you, Nehemiah was a good man, a cupbearer with the king. And when he asked the king that he want to go, the king of Persia, Medi, that he want to go back to Jerusalem to restore the, 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 the land, the temple, he was granted. He was a good man. Be a good person. And you be favored. And so we went to the king, and the prince said, Yes, meaning, what has me said, I will write a letter to the king of Israel. I will tell him that this is my plea. I am sending my captain, this time not for war, but for you to hear. Amen. I'm not coming to have war with you. I am coming to ask favor from you that you heal. In fact, it was not under the um, invitation of a king. No, 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 no. Yeah, of the Israel king. Yeah, Israel. He didn't know how to say for for the brother. Now, when he said he didn't come, when he heard from God, so he won't come. Only to a affair or Syria, he had to write a letter. A short letter. He has written the letter, sent it to the king of Israel, telling him, "I am sending my captain Naaman to you." And I, because I've heard that there's a God here in Israel, I'm telling you, God has a dwelling place. God has a dwelling place. And that is why when the, the children of Israel were in Babylon, and they were out to sing of the Lord's song, they said, how can we sing the Lord's song in the straight land? Yes, there's a God in Israel. And that is certain. That is true. That God is a potent God. He can do what other gods can't do. Because in Syria, they had gods. But their gods could not heal the leprosy of Naaman. They were fetish priests. They were religious sects. They Yet, they could not come to Naaman to heal him. No man to be a moment to be a name of what I'm saying. God lives in a sanctuary. And a sanctuary is peach among his children in Israel. So, the king sent the letter to him and said, Yes, heal him. When the king got the letter with the entourage, oh, the Bible tells us that he turned off his clothing, looked very upset. Now, what? Can I do this? <laughs> Have you ever seen me <laughs> exercising my exercising a physician character? No. I can't do that. I mean, to be simple for you. I hear that you talk up and on for me. Yeah. The king should have gone to God. Just a prayer could have done that. Because he, he is coming in the name of God. That there is a God. Let the king know. You see, the, the Israel's king were not just kings as we see, but they were also religious leaders who should point people to Christ. But this came fail. He was afraid. He thought he could not do it. And you know, in the councils that judge, they were kings, they were judges, they were priests. So all these people will come out. And so if that something a report has been brought, a request has been made. Why don't you consult the other people who are in your council? Because Elijah is, is, uh, is also there. Why don't you consult them? So this came, took it, said, I cannot do it. 
But remember, he was coming with the name that there's a God in Israel, a potent God, a competent God, an able God in Israel who could heal him. But not the king. He wanted to find where that king, that God is. But you can't enter into the territory without passing through the government. American president cannot come to Kumasi, just get up and run to take the plane and then arrive at Kumasi to see that at Santa We just seen the Ghana president and now the Dan Akufuado. You need to pass through the protocols. And that is what the king did. The king was not asking the king to heal, but he wanted the king to show where that God that the little girl have talked of is so he can go to him for healing. While the king was contem uh, contemplating on this issue, the news got to the prophet. And the prophet came, sent a message tell him to come. I represent the God here. I am the mouthpiece of God. Tell him to come. Though he is my enemy, we are under his care. He has come to Israel and has fought and has won the battle of our because we ate. Yet, this favor, because he has come to seek God, I will not pay him in his own claim. I will not say he is my enemy. I will show him the right God. Many of them, they will be over sometimes. Your time for your person, your children, your men, you'll be in a good time for you. And come in a while, and come in a person, my time for being ready. When person, my time for being ready, then what do we see? Yes, so, uh, so, I can do the church, you will now, so, I pray that I will be with him, and I will be with him. But that is not what the prophet Elijah did. He said, call him to come. Let him come. Manamra. And when he came, he did not say, hey, my friend, before I, there was no any condition. There was no any condition. Sanka, I will give you a condition. And one of the, one of the conditions I have given is that, look, if I heal you, Israel will not pay tribute to your king again, Syria king. True or false? Will you agree? And because, you see, anybody who comes, I work in the hospital, quite also easy hospital in Kumasi. Whatever you tell the patient, he does. He will do. <laughs> if you tell them to, if, uh, to stop eating, they will stop eating. If you tell them at this time, sleep. Those because they want to recover. So in this situation, if Elisha has given uh, the prophet has given Naaman any condition, Naaman would have sent the message to the king in Syria and said, "The man is giving me this condition. So let's for my because of me, my 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 health, please let's exempt them." But that was not the mind. Of the prophet that was not the man of the prophet so the Bible tells us that Elisha the prophet who has learned from Elijah now tells Elisha and uh, Naaman that go to the river Jordan and dip yourself there seven times and you'll be here. You see, Naaman came to acquire God, to know who God is. And Elisha, the prophet, was trying have taught him that yes, there's a God here. That God made the heavens and the earth. That God made you. That God punishes sin. If you sin as Israel sin and, uh, and has been brought under the reign 
into the reign of the Syrians. That God will punish sin. So stop sinning. Naaman understood that. Or who said, if you sin, you will be punished. So is a punishment is a result of sin. And that is a form of baptism. Amen. If you accept Jesus Christ, you need to go to the pool to declare to the whole world that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior. And for that matter, you want to live a new life. So after Nehemiah has taught, uh, uh, has been taught by the prophet Elisha, he was ushered to accept Christ Jesus by going to the pool to get baptized. Sometimes, because of our positions, sometimes because of our status, we think that salvation is very costly. And if the, let, the, the, the cheapest offer is made, that this is the way of salvation, you think that, no, if it is of money, I will pay thousands of dollars to let me tell you, salvation doesn't cost much. It just calls for repentance and reunion with the Savior. Yes. Nehemiah thought he'll be charged. You then pay this. Then take this condition. Then follow this. Then do this. No. When you know God, the next thing you need to do to get into the pool of baptism and get baptized. Don't think of your position. It is the baptism that really defines you as a true Christian of God. Because after baptism, you are going to live your own ways and uh, blend yourself, blend yourself with the new life that is found in Jesus Christ. Therefore, the prophet Elisha told him to go to Jordan and get baptized. Sometimes you may be in the valley of decision. You have come as a sinner, you have come. You have come to the Savior and the salvation, the way of salvation is made plain to you. You need to accept it and walk in it. That you'll be thinking. You'll be comparing some advantages you know, that are elsewhere. You may know the offer offered is the best way. That's the best way. There is no any alternative. What has been prescribed after accepting the gospel message, get into the pool and walk a new life in Jesus. That's the that's that's all that you need. But unfortunately, listen to what Naaman said. Naaman said in verse. Let me read from verse 10. And Elijah sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. Amen. Go and wash there. Go and clean yourself. And go. If you want your sin, leprosy did not sin. So if you want your sin to be forgiven, go to the pool, go to Jordan, go and wash yourself. Go there where Christ got baptized. Yes, he was baptized. I'm not just saying you should go to Jordan River and get baptized. You can baptize in any stream, any water that can cover you up, right? But I'm, I want to, what I want to say is that it is prudent, it is necessary that you go to the river to get baptized. Go to that river and get baptized. 
go to that river and dip yourself there so that God's you, you, you really be a new person. So invest that is why I want us that brings the 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 the, the theme for today's message in verse eleven. But Naaman was rough. Naaman became angry. Nebuchadnezzar and went away. No chemical No chemical And said, Behold, I thought. Fear Mr. Sue said, Mr. Sue, what Jane, eh, then, what is your thought? Say the Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9, and the Ekani. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? What genuine is deceitful? Your thought is deceitful can deceive you. God doesn't work with your thought. God doesn't work with your reasoning. He, 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 he is all wisdom. He has all no, he, he lacks no un, knowledge. God. So God is not working with your reasoning. I thought, yes, you may come with some presumptions. But let me tell you, it is does not work with God. You can come from a root, and you may think that this is the root that the Lord is going to lead me, but He may land you on the same side from an, on another root. He knows the best route to take you on. So when the man told um, Elisha told Naaman to go to the pool to get washed. He was rough. Nebuofu. And <laughs> Nebuofu. And he says something. In verse 12. And are not Abana and Pamphat rivers in Damascus better than all the rivers of Israel? Well, <laughs> this is very <laughs> interesting. Are not the rivers and the, uh, the the rivers in this place, Abana and Pamphlet in Damascus, better than the rivers here in Israel? Well, uh, I I don't know. But there's something I want to share with us. C. A. Thompson said that the Abana, uh, Abana, which is normally uh, this time, it was called Banada. Abana. It was called Banada River, but this time it's called ba Abana. And he, that river was not all that perfect. It doesn't look, but it was a flowing water in Israel, uh, in Damascus. It was one of their waters there, but it was not all perfect. It was not all that perfect. There were stains. It was not consumable. So I don't know why this man, uh, Naaman, could compare the River Jordan to. And <laughs> let me say today. Today, because Jesus Christ was baptized in the river Jordan, thousands of us go to Jordan. When we get in, uh, in, um, the Jordan River, we first some to drink. But the Abana water was not drinkable. <laughs> you know, the only thing you could do is to swim in it. <laughs> so that, why did he was he comparing Jordan? to that of Abana and uh, the other river. But let me say that you are persuaded and he went and actually when he accepted, he, he got convinced that he need to make a step forward. 
baptism, when he got convinced that his destiny was, was, was in his own hands, his decision at that moment, looking at the distance from Syria to uh, Samaria, it was not just an easy journey. Going back and here, what news are you going to bring to the king? When you go, can you tell the king that I was offered to go to Jordan and there are better rivers here? So I want to come here and take, let me tell you, God has a Jordan place. God's name was there in the river. It is only Jesus who can make the sinner clean. There's no, no other alternative. You can buy high soap. You can buy any detergent. They cannot make you clean. You can buy the whitest cloth to clothe yourself. That cannot make you clean. The only person who can make you clean is Jesus Christ. And the Bible tells us that when Naaman went into the river and dipped himself seven times according to the command of God, he came out clean. He came out clean. Take faith. Believe in the instructions of God. Hold on to the commandment and the testimony of Jesus. Step into the water in faith. And I'm telling you, your spiritual leprosy will fade away. Will fade away. Your spiritual leprosy will fade away. The prophet Naaman comes rejoicing, now not in wrath. Oh, there's joy in heaven, one, one sinner repented. That's what the book of Luke tells us. If a sinner rejoices, repents, there's joy in heaven. Even the sinner himself repents and rejoices. Yes. In fact, because I have found Jesus, I have found perfect peace. I rejoice. I, I am happy. He came rejoicing. Telling Malaysia, I have all this gold, this gold, this silver, this, this on these horses for you. Take them for you. Yes. The best thing you can give to God is your heart. It's your heart. The prophet refused all these things. Telling him, now this God that is in Israel, he doesn't accept any bribe. He doesn't take anything for doing something for you. The best thing he wants you and me to give him is our hearts. I have decided to give Jesus my heart. My card is empty. What about you? Everybody, that was sick. The devil said, We are brave. And can't someone also out there, my end? Miss Sobe Bray. You move beer, as you say, your boy so neither so war in the valley of decision. Lord, let the Holy Spirit inspire us to make a step into the pool of righteousness so that we can make ourselves clean by the blood of the line. Ready, GM. The devil said, So no. I think cancer me, Emma
Oh, it is crystal clear Monty. Amen. As I was saying, I would like to work, hear your comments and uh, also attend to some of your questions you may have because um, and uh, I said my number is if you're not in Ghana the preface is with uh, 233 seven two three three two four four seven six four to thirty two three three two four four seven six four to thirty and if you want to write me through my email you can send it to me by bawalanso at gmail.com or bawalanso at yahoo.com the bawalanso is spelled b-a-w-a-l-a-n-s-o at gmail.com or yahoo.com i want to hear your voice also because i've been hearing people calling and I hear people talking and recommending the messages. I know this one too will touch your heart. I am trying to do it on the screen um, to present my messages to PowerPoint so you can be reading some and seeing some of the images um, here on the screen. I am arranging for the screen and when it comes, I hope you shall enjoy our lessons together. May the Lord bless you. The Lord may his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lead you in all your ways.